welcome to Infamous Five. Uh, recently, there was an, uh, this whole conspiracy against uh, Pakistan. Just may, uh, you know, the U.S. Um, uh, Hillary Clinton makes a statement saying that Pakistan needs to do more regarding terrorism, and then you also get news regarding the NATO supplies. <coughs> the American Department and the head of uh, American State said that. Uh, Pakistan will have to face repercussions if they do not open the NATO supplies. So this whole drama is uh, what we are going to talk about today as to what are the real consequences and why are all these events connected and come in one go. Okay, let me make this statement first. Let me clarify something. Yeah. I was talking to Niza a while ago and I said that where she says that do more, Pakistan isn't doing more. So if you take it to another, if you... Uh, explain it in another way so it means for our leaders it's like uh, do more corruption we hired you for that right. do more in that field that's it what are you doing or basically no, what Hillary Clinton is trying to say is that you know you, that, you, you're not doing enough, not enough. so uh, and Gilani, you're not meeting our requirements exactly. and expectations so, and Gilani is basically saying that you know maybe like in his interview with Becky Anderson in CNN he is saying that you know now America needs to do more which means that basically that they need to do more they need to provide us with more money, money. exactly yeah, that's Otherwise, just we, you know, we wouldn't be cooperating as much. But talking about the CNN interview, have you actually? Oh, yes. We are actually um, show a bit of this clip for you guys to see exactly what the Prime Minister of Pakistan said in that interview. Take a look. A third of Pakistanis want to leave the country. That's what the latest Gallup poll says. And why don't they leave then? Who is stopping them? Welcome back. Uh, if you just saw the clip there of this interview where the Prime Minister very conveniently said that people of Pakistan who want to leave this country can leave. Why are they still Why aren't they leaving? So my question to the Prime Minister here is who the hell are you to tell the nation of Pakistan to leave? To leave yeah. We are supposed to uh, ensure who stays and who goes. So it's you, not us who has to Basically leave. what Becky Anderson had stated from the stats that she had was that one third of the Pakistani population is actually unhappy with the governance and then they say that you know because the, you are not doing a good job the people of Pakistan want to leave. One third right. of them want to leave. Right. So cornering him with that kind of statement, Gilani basically said then why are they here? But why aren't they leaving? That, that's a right statement to be made by the Prime Minister. Did you see the, the confusion state? on Becky Anderson's face? Well, you face? should see the. I think uh, I she was highly, even stumped. Yeah. I will highly recommend all the audience who's watching us right now to actually go and see this link. We are going to display it and see this video and see what the Prime Minister is doing. So basically, if the Americans make these statements about our country, we can't say much because our politicians are uh, themselves are yeah. the slaves. No, no, they're indifferent. They're indifferent. No, they're not but the, the people, they're the, the people, for the people. I just, I just. The people Pakistan are actually Iran. just not okay with living here and if they want to leave, Prime Minister is like they are free to go. No, I mean, no, who's no, my point them? here is that the Prime Minister is a slave to the US. Of course, it's a little with Muppet. The way it's yeah. not the government talking now. In this video, it was it's their Americans. reporter. Yeah. Who gave the reporter the right to speak to the Prime Minister in that manner? And then she also quotes, you know, I want you to look at me in the, eye, yeah. tell in the me eyes. Yeah. And tell me it's that, you know, if you have the reports about uh, who was the person, the chief of Al-Qaeda, right. if he is being harbored in your country right. and if you have been given enough evidence right. about it, then why aren't you arresting him? And you know, uh, like I mentioned in the intro of this show, have you seen the sequence of the, in the, the situations of the different news that are coming up? First, First it was NATO supplies, then the yeah. Hillary Clinton made the statement that Pakistan is not doing enough and now yeah. you see this whole interview Good where idea. the Prime Minister is bashed by the CNN reporter. I mean, yeah. she's just a reporter and she's talking to the, I know that the Prime Minister is a convicted, uh, you know, he's sentenced right. and everything, but then she is talking to him like she would probably talk to her younger brother or like, yeah. you know, who she is Normal wanting person. to so give really detention wanna, for the yeah, rest of I the really day. Yeah, I really want a question. Would the CNN reporter actually go and um, interview Obama or uh, George in the same Bush tone. or in the same tone uh, like other that? people in this manner? Would they actually go they and uh, yeah. interview any other politicians? Are journalists manner? allowed to use this kind of So sound? basically, yeah. we ourselves as a nation have given the uh, Americans the right. opportunity to talk to anyone, the even head of the state or the uh, people themselves to talk in this manner. I mean, if anyone from our country goes to US with the name with the surname Khan, they're basically they're being uh, held yeah, they're being no, held. forget Khan. Muhammad is the first thing. Right. Yeah. Muhammad and Khan, Ibn right? Ali. So anyone from Pakistan can be held uh, for like five, six hours on the side, security check, whatever. Detention. But the same person with this like Shah Rukh Khan, the whole incident yeah. happened because he was an Indian, the Americans actually apologized to the government. But QK, yeah. it, it, did you see the response that Indians gave back to the Americans? Which because made they them came out so strong. But mm. we never do this. No, we, it's not because our duty, right? The politicians are all sold. Already sold yeah. to the Americans. They're, they're all their they're muppets. Their they're all their puppeteers. The whole government is being run by the Americans. They're controlling yeah. them, you know, that... 
about so what our point i guess was here that this is all a game and we are p unfortunately part of it and we are part of this game because we never question them we never yeah. a part of it we get uh, repercussions because of the game that they are playing we the always yeah. we face the brunt of it yeah, but you, you know realize in all of that, that they are also one of us and he all says that you know i've been unanimously but elected already by the people I think by but if and we are if we really is unanimously elected by the people then why are the one third percent of pakistan's population unhappy with it with the starts oh, given well, they're more than welcome to leave who yeah, stop them exactly like the with a little shrug you know why are they here why don't they leave them? and you should really watch the smile the smile the says smile it all. is just like i couldn't care less karna hai jo karo ja jana hai jao right. that's so what the smile says so i guess just uh, give me the whole point check. of doing this show <laughs> was to um, basically question american uh, and the other policy representatives well. uh, want to question americans not the politicians because i guess that's our own department you know how they say that whatever happens inside my house it's my my thing yeah. you don't have to worry about you it don't so you who raise your you, finger on us yeah, you yeah. are an outsider don't question us for that but she really an outsider considering their campaigns running on well, tv about the us aid yeah. and everything they tell that you know we there was a commercial that yeah. you showed me a little while back wasn't really and a commercial it was a public yeah. message yeah. which basically Why goes something you show like this first, yeah. yeah it goes something like this बाजी जल्दी करो ना ना थक गया हूँ भाई थोड़ी देर और चलो आ जाओ Yeah, um, we can all see that you know there is this little initiative taken by the kids. Basically, they feel that the economic condition in the house is not doing all so well, so they go up to the parents. They make a little uh, amount of no. money and they you know want to participate in helping the situation right. better at home. But then they kind of interrupt the whole ad with uh, that message that this is not the time and age for them to uh, be taking responsibilities with economy. and that is where the us becomes all like you know holier than thou and they play their very saintly role by saying that we give you money we are your friends here's the us aid don't do anything to improve your situation take our money and we will cripple you with any responsibility that you will ever think about no, 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 you can improve. take the money right now darling yeah. but yeah. do remember i will you're under our role yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll take it back how by throwing destroying your country the no no by attacks by the attacks by strikes of drone you know and, and they are unmanned by killing all the does uh, anybody uh, the, the army or the men have at the borders yeah. saying that uh, it was a uh, a friendly fire, fire a friendly yeah. fire so yeah, yeah i guess um, this is the way we pay them back and now the but how, how gilani offers. again throws the ball back at them by saying that you know we're kind of reconsidering the negotiation nego session deal with them because basically he is saying that if you were to given in a particular amount of right. money then we will renegotiate the nato uh, right so it's basically just a game of play here you know they are saying that we'll give you the money and then we'll get like we we have our uh, advantages to it with the money that we are providing to you attack. we'll have our free drone strikes whatever we'll get away with it and then gilani says that if you do the those strikes and everything we'll put up a price on the nato border so You know, it's I just guess like a um, game. just to end the show, I guess this is all a game, and unfortunately, our politicians, and especially the prime minister, the head of the states, are equally involved in the entire game, and it is they're all responsible. Don't it's don't. all a conspiracy. It's all a game, and they're a little muppet uh, for them. Yeah, and know? we Again. are unfortunately not aware of what really is the game and who is really behind this game. And I guess we only face the brunt of it, right? So um, I guess uh, for you guys, uh, please share your comments, please share your suggestions, and what you have to say about this whole incident. and uh, we will be looking forward to your messages till then bye take bye. care